Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to learn how to make this gravity defying Guinness cake. So I've started off with a black covered cake, so this is a 7 inch cake I believe. And I've just taken some white fondant and coloured it with just a little bit of brown, um, just to give it like a creamy colour. Um, and I've rolled out just enough to cover the top of the cake and then slightly around the edges. We're going to smooth out the top first getting rid of any air bubbles or anything like that and then we're going to push the sides of the fondant down um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut uh, just kind of like a wiggly line all the way around to kind of give the illusion that I guess that this is going to be kind of like a pint of Guinness and the bubbles are flowing over um, so the brown that I used for this one was just the dark brown and I just used a tiny little bit of it just to get it to be that cream colour. So once you've cut around, um, I'm going to just go around with my finger around the join and just smooth it a little bit so that it's um, not as jagged and it's not sticking out anywhere. And it just kind of looks like it's almost flush with the cake. So if you've got any air bubbles, just use the needle. I usually use the scriber needle just to get those out. And then I've got two kebab skewers and we're going to pop those in at a slight angle. And I've got an empty can of Guinness. So I've emptied it and I've washed it out and I've let it dry. And I'm just going to stick this in over the top. Now I want to mark how far I want it to go down. And so I'm just going to mark it with a little bit of fondant. And this is going to allow me to know where I need to um, go up to for when I want to put the um, can back on. So just a little bit of fondant. And I'm just wrapping that around just to give me an idea of where I need to go. So I'm going to cover the rest of the kebab skewer in black. Now I've just used normal fondant for this. Um, you could use modelling paste if needed. And then we're just going to roll some rough teardrop shapes and then we're just going to cover what we've just created in the black teardrops. So we're just going to layer them on one after the other and just flicking them out slightly to the end because we want to give the illusion that this the beer is um, coming out of the can and onto the cake and so we're going to cover the entire thing make sure that you go all the way around modeling paste would um, you know hold its shape a lot better and we're going to join the fondant onto the base of the cake and that's just going to give us a little bit more support try to keep the um, the kebab skewers fairly stable and I'm just going in with a Dresden tool and just smoothing over the join and so now I'm just going to go over that white bit that we stuck on and I'm going to wet it a little bit so the can sticks to the fondant and then we're just going to carry on going up with more of these kind of like teardrop shapes so you could do any beer you know if you wanted to or you could either do chocolate um, and you would just cover the support with a bit of melted chocolate and then maybe some of the sweets that you're gonna have falling out of the cake uh, falling down into the cake so you can see that's what you should have when you've built all that up. Next we're just going to put in some detailing so I'm just going to roll some of the same coloured fondant into a sausage that's pointy either side and we're going to place this around where that um, the fluid is almost uh, hitting the cake. It's going to hide the join um, and it's also going to give like a rippled water effect um, and what that's going to do is it's just going to make it look like there's a bit of movement happening on the top of the cake. If you wanted to get really fancy you could put these underneath the fondant 
um, and then put the fondant over the top and then that way you wouldn't see the individual ripples but it would look like it was actually under the fondant. I've got teardrop shapes that I'm just going to roll and put on the cake and this is going to give us the kind of, um, to make it look like the, the foam I guess is running down the cake. And you're just going to carry on building up until you're happy with what you've got. Um, to finish this cake I just printed off um, a Guinness logo um, in black and then obviously just covered the board and put a happy birthday message on there. So make sure that when you're doing the teardrops you put them all around the cake as well. And I'm just sticking them down with just a little bit of water and putting some close to the middle area to make it look like as that fluid is hitting in there um, it's causing the foam to kind of like splash, splash out. I'll put a link in the description box to everything that I've used to uh, make this cake. Um, and if you do have any questions, you know, feel free to ask me. They're in the comments down below. Or I do have a Facebook group where you can ask me questions directly. You could use edible glue if you wanted to. I just prefer to use water because otherwise I just ruin all the brushes. So once the cake's finished, you should have something that looks like this. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have, please give a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.